Oh, down smash. Not able to get the ledge guard. Oh! <laughs> Right. Equips that. Welcome to Grand Finals here at Lag Spike number 57, 8 Bit Man versus Anality. Let's Game one. On 100 PS2. $150 price because that means you're going to be competing for, I think, 20 the difference between 50 and 75, which is $25 of it. So that means it is still going to be intense because $25 is still a decent amount of money. Like I said, that is 22 candy bars. It's more than you left, it's more than you started with, so. <laughs> Certainly. Oh my god, already trying to end it off early with that spike there. But unfortunately, nowadays I can be able to get it and just kind of going to town on 8-Bit Man already. I, mean, I don't think it... I'm sure 8-Bit Man remembers what happened in their last set earlier today, <laughs> so... Oh, right, hang on, they have fought before? Uh, yeah, they fought, in, they fought in... Um, oh, he was a Diddy Kong, yeah. Yeah, they fought in Winner's Quarters with the Diddy Kong and Audi had like a very big statement spike in a couple... There was some taunts right. going back the and forth. Right, comeback. I remember that now. Okay. Go meter online. Up he's going to land, but that is going to be dangerous. Apron Man is going to die in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No. Oh, 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 almost. And now the, uh, sorry, Apron Man able to get away from that power geyser. So going to be close. He's, I guess, I'm guessing Apron Man is learning, learning to not punish that aerial power geyser. But he is dead after asking if he requires therapy. Clearly now he does. It's gonna be some physical therapy after that one though. Yeah, that Buster Wolf coming through. Game for that first stop. Oh, barely avoids that power geyser and no mileage! Yep, great use of that down smash. Cover both of both your options there. Eight bit man will even up the stocks here. Great approach there with the with the nair to the arm rotor, and oh, uh oh, this is a stop. Oh, hang a stop. on a minute. There's you a are stop. Hang dead. on. Apret Man making a statement. Welcome, yeah. welcome to the Rob combo here on PS2. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've seen him now. He takes some early stocks. Apret Man's like, I'm going to jab lock you. And you're gonna Man, like it. Looking to run away with this right now. Has Anality in an edge guard situation. Hang on a minute. No double jump. Arm rotor and that oh, is. Oh, oh, what? I've never seen that would get rock out hard before. Well, nope. oh, 8-Bit Man has woken up and smelled the coffee and is going to take this game number one here. If face cams were on, y'all would see the very concerned look on my face because that's not normal. Eh, well, that's 8-Bit Man. I... That's not normal finality. Like, uh, it's easy to 8-Bit true. Man for doing that, but... That's not at all normal for analogy. That is strange to see. I mean, this is this is my first tournament casting 8-Bit Man, but I've Same seen here. enough of 8-Bit Man play, and I've watched quite a few of his streams that I kind of knew what was going to happen there. <laughs> and now he was in very, very big trouble. Well, that first, well, that game one is going to be completely dominating as a two-stock to towards 8-Bit Man. Now he's going to think, okay, where the, where the, what happened? What? Uh, that, uh, this, th that's not how I'm supposed to play the game. That, that wasn't in the script. <laughs> All right, stage is going to remain the same here, but Anality, um, are we going to see a character switch? Ready? Yes. Yep, we are. Ken, a bit faster on the ground, up B, I believe, is a more consistent kill option. This is a smart switch because uh, against Rob, you really do need those, you, you, you really do need that mobility, is what I've been trying to say. So that means now that he has a bit more of that, he may have a better matchup here once again going back to PS2. Who would have guessed? I mean, no surprise on the stage here, but I do agree with the, with the character switch here for Anality. Able to connect with the roundhouse kick. Oh, but right now you lose stage control and you're in trouble. I bet you were in that down arrow, so that would have been absolutely dominating. A 20 second suck if I've ever seen one. Yeah, absolutely here. So, All right, grab, back throw. Casting his own gyro hit. What? Hey, Bitman, were you good? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no spike. Couldn't get it, but 90%. That was an excellent string. Now at 105, 110. 
currently at kill percent up he will kill at literally any moment now the one thing is you do not want to be caught on the ledge against a against a, a ken who's just wailing at you because we've seen a now he do many many a shield break did it in the smash world tour i believe too so and there it is Hitman man knows that but is not gonna is going to fall for that down tilt to sure you can now up one game, not that one game. It runs up a game, but currently now he's up a stock. Let's see what I can hold this, but 87 now only 98%. Ken has a decent amount of weight behind him, and but Rob can kill, so I'd say kill percent currently. Ooh. All right. Burn the double hey, jump. Man on use the edge. focus. Excellent use of focus there. So he will destroy that, but doesn't even matter. He's going to die regardless. That was an absolutely excellent use of focus. And Audi is just very, very good with Ken mixing up the recoveries, but ultimately still falls for the 8 bit man. And the power of Rob. Here comes the Tatsu loops. Tatsune Miku. Uh, you said Tatsune Miku is coming out, but 51%. Now he just take a hit the stuck. Now 54 stuck at ledge. So much for finally getting jab, but only 17. No uh -oh. double jump. Hang on, this that's not good. Oh, yeah. ho -ho! Yep. Apret man with the cheese, just deleting that man's double jump and saying, "Hey, you're gonna go marginally further left, and you're gonna be very much further down." Yeah, now he tried to up be around what would have been a down air, but the can is just not able to do that. Oh, no, it's read in. And now he isn't what? And now he isn't going for those scrum reads, man. He, he doesn't do that. He he sees stuff. The man's a reactionary man, even online. Yep. He's been man of a full stock lead here. I got now he at one oh five. Beautiful. Double back to back two stocks. A bit man is proving himself to not only an Audi, but the entirety of the Smash scene currently. He deserves being in that 51 spot, and he's saying, hey, I deserve to be higher, man. Put me up there. Absolutely. One win away from forcing a reset here in Grand Finals with a classic Rob setup with the gyro bouncing right into that love and up smash. No one does it to an Audi, and then he just did it to an Audi. The car is not starting anymore. Like I said, and now we keep going to grand finals in a, is as and now taking that is as sure as a car starting. Does it most of the time? But whenever it does, but whenever it doesn't do it, something might be wrong. Either that or you put the wrong key in. Hey, Anality has had you know, you know it, it's it you know Anality has a very high win percentage. I think somewhere like seventy nine percent. I think is it was eighty seven last I checked. Ready? Double check that right now. Uh, go but, ahead and sort within the last six months because the last six months is without a doubt more accurate than the last year. Uh, it gives a more accurate win percentage, you know, I'm based switching off Switching back of, to Terry, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I'm 85% win percentage. Daddy! God, this kid knows how to play and what's Aprit Man, so go ahead and commentate while you pull this up. Um, also pretty good. Dang. Well, PS2 currently, so again, they've just kind of been sticking here for the good last while, and I'm pretty sure it's an even stage between the two characters, but interestingly, he's going back to Terry. I would have expected... Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. This is a disconnect on streamers, and this is a disconnect on streamers, and I know this one when I see it. Uh, we just got no. boned by Sakurai. Sakurai just revoked okay. your streaming privileges. Let me, let me see if I can pull up 8-Bit Man's stream. Oh, come Wait, no, no contest. No, okay, that was a we're, disconnect. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we didn't miss anything. We didn't miss anything. That was a disconnect. Who is remaining in the arena? Drum roll, please. And now it's it appears. Man. It appears looks like by default, and now he takes this as uh, 8 Man did the, 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 the DQ. So, so that means are, you're are, are means... indeed. So the reason why they eight bit man picked Kalos is because he thought DSR was in effect. But we do not have DSR in effect here at Lag Spike, so both players agreed on PS2, so we will continue with PS2 and Audi. Where are you going? <laughs> I still have a gut feeling that that is going to be some kind of controversy for a little bit, but we're going to commentate this set as if nothing happened. Going 29 to 18, now to getting a bit of advantage to them, now up to 35% on Nate Brand, man. But this early game percent, this is early game neutralizer, we're always used to seeing these leads hardly end up mattering unless they really do. Alright, so. 
Uh oh, you're caught Rock in a hard place. In a hard place. But able to get the shield out. Didn't really do too much. A bit of percent though. Up to 51 now. But Egbert Man's up at 116. So just to reset things, because I know things got a little bit screwy there. Uh, this is currently two two games to one in the favor of 8-Bit Man. And that, uh, 8-Bit Man coming from the loser side. So if 8-Bit Man takes this game here, as he's going to lose that stock. So an Audi with the lead here as a Terry. But if 8-Bit Man takes this game, it will force a reset. And, to, and Grand Final's reset is something else to be in, because that means you have to take another three games. It is just mentally fatiguing, especially for the person coming from losers. Yeah, absolutely here, so... All right, so an Audi looking for the edge guard here. Vapid Man kind of stalling to mix up the recovery. Great option, able to throw out the gyro to get an Audi off of ledge to give him a free recovery back, but that doesn't change back. He's still stuck at ledge. Now he has center stage down after getting hit after hitting an Audi the gyro, but now he still has three socks, which means he can play a bit more loose than he's used to. Just kind of just kind of going for it. That's how I play when I'm up. I just you know, go for it a bit more because it doesn't matter as much. Oh, power that is he the kill? Yes, it is. Well, we see an 8-bit man, you know, we see an 8-bit man turn on the jets, so he's going to need to turn on the jets here. Okay, so, but, uh, now he's not even 8-bit man, because doesn't even have go meter up. 8-bit man's I up. An Audi yeah. just, uh, 8-bit man is like, let's just do game 5. Okay. It wasn't even a game 4. I mean, there wasn't even a game 3, man. I'm actually, I know I'm, I'm a commentator and I'm not supposed to have bias about this, but I am actually pissed off about that. But like, you know, there's nothing we can do, so all we gotta do is just, there's a model we live by, it's ish caught all. Crap so, happens, we deal with it. Yeah, um... Looks like we gotta deal with it here today, and... Unfortunate situation with the bizarre disconnect, um, just... Yeah. Um, but, you know, we are now in a Game 5 situation here, and Audi out of the winner's side, 8-Bit Man out of the loser side, so 8-Bit Man has to win here to force a reset. If an Audi wins, this tournament is over. Nothing any of us can do right now, but an Audi is looking to close this out right now, as I don't think he wants to bring it to a Grand Finals reset situation. As it is 11 o'clock currently, I believe in Ecuador, that would make it... 9? Mmm... 8. I'm not, I'm not, not sure nine. what... I'm trying to think because it's then it goes in Ecuador. Um, it would be 10 o'clock for him, I think. I'd have to look that up to be honest in terms of time zones. It, I mean, it's probably similar because I know Mexico City is is basically our the equivalent of Central Time Zone. Um, yeah, I think he's CST, so that would make it 9 o'clock for him. I mean, 10 o'clock, which is still pretty late. And I want to go to bed at this point, but it's 11 o'clock for us, which is just even later, man. Come on. All right, well, we'll see. Um, um, looks like they're going to... Um, we're going to be... Yeah, uh, so like I said, I'm pretty sure they're just going to be heading back to uh, PS2. You know, as they always yeah, do. They're, they're talking in the chat. They're going to gentleman agreement to PS2 here for game number five here. And Audi going to stick with Terry. 8-Bit um, Man gonna stick with Rob. Again, this is game five. 8-Bit Man coming out of the loser side, so 8-Bit Man has to win here to continue the tournament. Otherwise, Anaudi will take yet another lag spike title. So Sorry. here we go, game number five. Two, All right. One, go. I forgot what I was gonna say, but we're gonna be here on PS2 once again. We've been seeing this stage a lot. I listen, on the Brands of Pokemon has really good music, so I don't mind the music whatsoever. But you know, right. it's PS2. All right, Aphid Man trying to play, trying to set things up with that gyro. All right, snuffs out the crap, snuffs out the uh, burn knuckle. Drop shield on the aerial power dunk once again. Everyone keeps on making that mistake. I can understand how it's hard to make because it's tricky to see if it was aerial or not, but you can tell immediately afterwards if, after attempting to punish it. Unless they have a move that's minus one in frames, I mean, that comes out of the frame before you input it, you know, like that Google Stadia type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Eighty-two, eighty-eight. Even game currently getting a puff. Excellent get up attack from Anaudi. Currently pushing. Uh, eight breath for the left side of the stage, but no go meter on deck. Anaudi kind of in a corner. 
man. I think that might have been a missed input from Anality, throwing, throwing the Power Guys the wrong way. Apen Man has to snap to ledge here. He's got to watch out for Power Guys. Oh, couldn't watch is. out for it in time. He needs a new prescription glasses because he unfortunately wasn't able to see that one coming. No, I wasn't able to see it coming either. This, you need greater than 2020 vision to be able to read this, man. Come on. All right, snipe the, snipe the laser. Looking set up here, the ledge trap situation. Now he able to roll out of it. Shot on that ledge, and that is going to be connected with the uh, up air, I believe. 151 currently, this finality, this Terry is at go percent and coming and basically max rage at this point. Well, I mean, 190 marks max rage, but it's getting up there. He's gonna start killing early. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a combo now and it kills, but unfortunately, he's dead himself. Only able to get 29% of mileage, not as much as he wants, but it's something. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, um, all right, so I mean, pro, oh, I was about to say pretty even so far, but landing that. I know that power dunk. It's going to give a Nowdy percentage advantage here. Yeah, so oh. to get power dunk out, but this way around, Apron Man's able to it. toughen out before he think, even comes yeah. to that plus one thing. I think Apron Man's making the adjustment. Oh, was trying for arm rotor, but could not get it out fast enough. Goes for it again, but this time around, now he's not even going to come close. Able to get the grab down throw off stage. 109% of now he's kind of going for this R wave. Maybe two frame once again. Go for yep. power wave. This time around, Apert Man spacing around it. Looks like he is learning. Yeah, yeah and now he does that very, very often. So I think Apert Man's making the adjustment here. Let's see if he can punish. Caught on that platform, but is able to shield from that back air. Go online once again. Oh, that is a great use of that gyro to stop the... To stop the Buster Wolf and can nice get tech. Oh no, the miss input. That is a very critical thing Rippling. for Ape and Man. Well, let's Crippling. see if Ape and Man takes advantage here. Remember, he's got to win this to force the reset. Even then, we still have a potential three to five more games. Oh. Power dunk. Not quite a battle recently. He's got a little bit of percent on 19% currently. But three minutes, 40 seconds ago, here at PS2, Grand Finals. This is now a Brett Man's tournament stock. Uh, yes, it is indeed. All right, now, I mean... All things considered, percentages are pretty much even here. The Ape and Man able to get a string and make them absolutely even here. Stopping, and now he's approaching the gyro. Uh-oh. Here comes a string. Three, down smash. Nice down smash. Ape Man on the edge guard. Burns his double jump. Is that dead? Could be. No. Nope. There, there it is. is. Ape Man bringing this back to grand final reset. This is Anelby's first drop set. And of course, we already know that, but this is, this is huge. Ready? All right, here we go. Time to lean for, actually, I'm, I think I'm just going to keep leaning back. I can move my mic up here, um, over here, which is sick. Posture is important, all right? <laughs> I mean, I'm leaning back. I got my butt in the right place. My back's on the lumbar support. All right, here we go. Reset of grand finals and Audi versus 8-Bit Man. Game one on PS2. One. The salty run back. We'll see how it goes. When the first time these players uh, ran into each other is this bracket, and I doubt a bread man's gonna take much of a liking to him after what happened that last set. But what matters is he took that set and brought it back to here. Well, I mean, ultimately, you know, if he wins, if a bit man wins, all that's moved. So I mean, yeah. it already is moved because we already have reset. So. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, but still, you can't. It happened. It's moot. Like, there's gonna be no drama over. But uh, I can understand it. Uh, I was about to say, and Audi almost got caught between a gyro and a hard place. But Terry has the power to fight through that. Over that. Oh, oh, actually able to punish aerial power, power dunk there. And I feel Very like we're rare. gonna see more of that unless an Audi makes an adjustment here. See, that is one thing that an Audi has been doing a lot that Vapor Man is taking advantage of, and that is just his excessive use of power dunk. How did he live that? Yeah, that was a scary part, you know, for 8-Bit Man, just kind of getting stuck on, kind of in that corner there. But ultimately, 8-Bit Man able to fight through it. Gets the grab. Down the throat. Up Oops. tilt, forward air, go meter, on, go is on deck, it's going to be very scary. Oh, the roll read! <laughs> hey, Brett Man just calling an Audi out. I didn't even think this man had habits, but hey, Brett Man showing me stuff I didn't even know existed. No, definitely, an Audi definitely has some habits here, and I think hey, Brett Man is obviously a very skilled player and is starting to snuff these out. 
Gets connected with the laser. He already now 67. This is going to be Jarrah coming in. 78. Ja uh, right. Side B at West, not going to win, but 70% is still a solo. We remember, whenever he gets an Audi, it's not, a tr it's not a question of if he'll bring it even, it's when he'll bring it even. The question is, it's just when. All right, just charges through and we'll it's take start. the stock on the dash attack. It is certainly a start, but 101, go meter on deck. This is where he makes it even. Not fine no, for that again. Yeah. Not! <laughs> I saw I saw the future! <laughs> I saw the future that landing. Uh no skills if you forgot to change the scene, I think. <laughs> no skills if you forgot to change it from commentator thing. If you forgot to change it to gameplay, bruh! Uh, I'll I'll ping him in chat. Um, alright, so down smash with attack. Yep, there he goes. That's stock. Hey. I just wish people could see my face the entire time. That's kind of awkward. Hi. Yes, 66 currently. Now he uh, maybe this isn't the game where now he goes brings it back to even because Apron Man's doing a great job of holding this lead. And this jab jab power dunk. God. Up jab Two jab lock, jab lock. Ooh, 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 63%. Maybe this isn't a game where Naudi gets even. Maybe this is one where Apret Man just straight up takes it. Could this be the end of the Naudi saga? Oh, oh. Naudi almost coming up with their own break brain combos using Rob Gyro against them, but ultimately, Apret Man is going to get the down throw. Where's the match? Oh, oh ho, ho. Just caught him, man. Down there. Go meter on deck, Amber Man's just calling out how I didn't even know he existed. Oh, Side B's yeah. gonna land and Arm there runner. it is. Still gonna connect. You don't see an Audi 2 stocked, ever. What is Amber Man on? This man is playing not only with the passion of a Diddy Kong player, but the rage of a Rob player. Oh, he changed the scene after the match is over. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, right. changed scene at least. You're all right. You're right. Don't worry. Okay, there we go. It's changed, and that's what matters. So yeah. I, I have it. I have this. I have the stream on my iPad to, uh, and it's a little bit behind. But that's I have just because it. it's on my iPad. Okay, oh, so I got it on my second monitor. Right. I got face cam Discord on my third. I'm just uh, hum hum humble flexing here. I, I, need, an, I need another monitor. Honestly. Oh my god, dude, it's life changing. Doesn't even matter if it's cheap. What do I just have on like vertically just like Discord? Yeah, I'll get that one eventually. Anyway, here we go. Game number two. Um, so, 8 bit man will take this first game. Second, uh, we do, we are going to have a stage change here. It is going to be Kalos. Yes! Kalos always gives good games. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you have no idea how happy I am to see a stage. But this is going to definitely benefit a Brett man, as those side platforms are definitely a lot better for camping. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting because this is an Audi's counter pick here, but this is a good stage for Ape man as well. Great. Closer side blasts as well as that wall, which means it's harder to mix up recovery. So, yeah, this is a good stage for children. I don't want to think about it. This is close side blast, and I'm remembering that correctly, right? That is correct. You know, you can take stocks very quickly with the arm rotor here. Close side tall top. Okay, so it's basically just uh, town and city, but, light, but less on steroids. All right. Well... Not, not dead yet. Top right, top left corner of the map. He's in the saw blast zone to just barely stay alive there. No. That, but that is dead. Now he's like challenge the, that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he tried to. It did. Like you can challenge it. It won't work though. Not a question of can I. It's will it work? All right. So jab one two. With Nair, but no, now with the Nair of their own, jumps out of the way. This, yeah, Apron Man is not making that mistake at whatsoever again. Right, power dunk once again. Throws it on shoot back at Legend. Now he's trying to hold this left as best he can, but up a stock currently. Apron Man's gonna have to play this from behind. Right, back throw. On the third year, using the gyro to get back to stage, and that's, that's gonna be Bernie Knuckle, absolutely. Now he up two stocks. Now Apert Man's gonna take a deep breath and just go for something. 
That's yep. a good thing to go for, but didn't quite work out. Yeah, I had the right idea, though, with the arm murder. Unfortunately, not all visions oh. come true. Oof. Yeah, unfortunately, now he's sending the uh, Buster with the wrong way. But Go Meter is on deck, which means it hardly even matters, because the moment... Because 31%, he, he, he can die at 31%. He can legitimately die at 31%. Now, uh, definitely now 49. He needs to get the stock off now or never, and then make sure the next one is either as well. Tried to punish it! Waited there, but it's plus one, you can't do anything! Even if you're not even hit on shield and you... And you inputted something okay. before he even lands. He still gets out. That is a three stock for an Audi there. <sighs> wow. Commanding game by him. It's going to be going 1-1 one, one into game three currently. Welcome back to a best of three situation. Absolutely. I'm imagining we're probably going to go back to PS2. <laughs> Yeah, probably. After that showing, he's like, nah, let's not do that, see? That uh, show doesn't seem to like that. You know, let's get, get, get out of here, man. Come on. I have no idea what that voice even is. What the frick? Hey, game four is coming. I mean, game three is coming up. Looks like it's just making sure, giving their state selections. It's going to be PS2, probably. And strangely enough, I'm okay with that because Apert Man did not do well outside of it. All right, so we're waiting on the stage choice here. Um, actually, PS2 is banned. Oh, that was quick. Yep. So um, we are not gonna have PS2 for this match. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh... Hey, Bray, you're not supposed to be spectating, man. Come on, you're the player here. If you want to commentate, you should have said so and DQ'd in pools. Like a good boy. Uh, I'm not sure what, what's up with that, as 8-Bit Man decides to warp around the arena. Um, Rolling around at the speed of sound. Gonna, there. Just brought my chair down a bit so, so I can get the footrest out of my uh, chair, so that means it actually fits under my desk. Comfort, folks. That's what I'm talking about. Oh God, we're both we are both burning that midnight auto, huh? Yeah. Listen, well, we one, got at most. This, sorry. If there's one thing I've learned about Smashers that y'all don't sleep <laughs> or shower. Oh! I wasn't gonna go there. You're the one who went there. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's a stupid, like stereotypical thing. I don't actually mean it. It's just one of the, it's like it's it's like throwing your mom at the end of something. Yeah, stage sort of is town and city. Oh! Wait, stage what? Is marked Whoa. as town and city in Smash GG, but they are they just gentlemaning to PS2? My Smash GG says town and city, so I'm like, I'm not crazy, but I guess. That's weird. I heard town and city, and I was just, and I was just thinking, Apron Man isn't stupid enough to let an to take him there, right? Because we all know what happens with Shodos on town and city. Yeah. So. um... I guess this must be, they might have just agreed to do it in, in a chat. Yeah. Perhaps, but we'll yeah, manage no, this. That's, ex that's exactly what happened. They agreed to it in the chat. Oh, oh, oh. looks like just a, just, the, just the change of venue is enough to get Apret Man back on top. Yeah. Already with the commanding first doctor, barely even lasting 30 seconds for an hour. Don't make that joke. Sorry, I had a terrible joke that came into my head. Alright, so 8-Bit Man will... Hoping PS2 is the answer again. I mean, so far it's working out, and... Let's see, an Audi on the chase here. I guess it's just the larger nature of it. It gives him more room to space out, and Terry being slower and all makes it harder for him to approach, and he's able to get a, just a bit more damage on there. Now Audi's just marginally... just more desperate to approach. But we'll see how this turns out. Looks like uh, it's turning uh, out oh, well for Ape Batman. Oh my god, 89. Nice snipe there. Barry yeah. missed the gyro. Gets the ledge trap. First hit, of ups, first hit of up smash, but uh, the, the two moves ended up trading. Yeah. All right. That was weird interaction, but fortunate that up uh, Jag. Down towards the cross the stage. Woo. Able to get out. Uh, gets the Buster Wolf out of 118. And Audi now with Go Meter. As I've always said, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. But we'll see if he can. But we'll see if Bretman can delay the inevitable and take this stock now. All right, so grab. 
Go is on still on lion. This time rolled away, not wanting to get punished by attempting to punish because yeah. you know that's what happens. Fifty one. This is scary. Down to oh, not getting the combo he wanted. Forty eight. Not that is high enough to bleed kill at this point. I believe at fifty six. He can't read the platform above him because he has because of that power geyser, and he can't stay at that mid range because of that Buster Wolf. Speaking of Buster Wolf, that is dead. As I said, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. All right, so an Audi making full use of the power of Go here. But 8 bit man's got to take the Down stock. Smash. Batteries it at 420. Lamau, nice. I hate myself, um, too. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so in this best of three situation, we're pretty much as even as we can be. Zero, zero. One, and one. Oh, uh, no skills. I think you forgot to update the score for an Audi. It's one, one currently. Yes, that is correct. It is one, one right now. Um, grab from 8 man. Looking for the tech chase on the platform. And Audi not going to give it to him. Grab, down throw. God, they've barely done anything to each other last. They're just letting each other up, but finally, now with a bit of advantage. 73% Kirby able to get the grab in. That's forward throw off stage. Now back at ledge, and now he's just kind of going for it. Like the, cold, the sooner you close out the skin, the better, because 99.3% of rage is starting to kick in. That's going to be Nair going to land. Forward uh, uh, air, oh. tries to go for something, misses everything, though. So again, they're on shield, but an Audi only at 55%, but this is Rob. He has those combos that just kind of kill. Oh, and speaking of just kind of oh killing, my as goodness. I said that, the commentator's blessing, I can see the future. And it is so very clear that we're going to be seeing game four. So that puts 8-Bit Man on tournament point here with that win. 8-Bit Man now up two games to one with that comeback win, catching... An Audi very high up with that up air. I am not used to seeing an Audi down. Like he's, I'm not used to this man. He's uh, usually like the one person that comes has, in and sweeps. I'm, an Audi has been dominant, but that doesn't mean he's been invincible. You know, he's lost to, you know, he's lost yeah. to Bloom back in the back in the day, which was like last year. He's lost to you know Meister. So not it, anymore. It, God knows. I've written, yeah. Excuse me, and now he has come such a long way since uh, Gorm Dude's like, he, was, he was always a good player, but he just Absolute. kept on coming, man. He never quit grinding. So no matter what, even after that incident, I still have to respect now. Even if it's listened before, I got to respect him. All right, absolutely. Here we go. This is game four situation here. 8-Bit Man trying to take his first flag spike title, and now he's trying to force a game five. So let's see what happens here once again on PS2. X1 SDI there, able to get out of that last hit. Well, only four points, but that crack is going to line up to 31 now, and it's basically where it would have been, where it would have been before. But able to get the grab, air dodges in. That's something that now has been doing a lot. Is air dodging in when, uh, whenever he's at ledge like that. Yeah, and that's gotten him in trouble before. But that is one of those habits that are tricky to shake off. Even at those high levels, you just have those micro oh. habits. Don't even game 3598, able to roll back just to get it down to it. Back airs on shield, able to run out of the way of the crack shoot. That's gonna be jabbed up power, not gonna kill yet, but gonna do a bit more damage. Getting ever closer to killing on this uh on this on this steel copper alloy. Yeah, that Rob back air is very, very safe. There's a call out. A Ooh, call how did he lift that? What? Yeah, that's great DI, but the call out arm rotor is not the answer there. And Audi snuffed that out entirely. I don't think we're going to see too much of that again. What? Oh, 127, but go meter online. The 8-Bret Man's going to want to take this down, but that's Burning Knuckle. That's not good for 8-Bret uh, Man because an analogy with the lead is... Um, oh, any, any shoulder with the lead is something to look out for, but that's going to be up there. Bad and reset at 5 minutes and 28 seconds after invincibility wears off. Absolutely. So once again, even, even Steven's here in this game number 4. With the grab, that's going to allow... Laser coming for 8-Bit Man. Oh, nice down to it. Able to trip. Able to, got the, able to get the grab out. Now 70. Going for it right there. One to close the stock out just like he did stock one. But now he's learning from last time. DIing far and away from him. 
All right, so 8-Bit Man making their way back to the platform. 66 to 88, 22% of difference sets apart these players, as well as, I'm gonna guess, quite a few miles. Ooh, that gyro coming in huge for 8-Bit Man there. Go online. He's gonna put go meters on. Up smash, not quite Great. gonna kill yet, just barely, but that means go meters still on with some rage as well. That means that means a Brett man is at kill percent currently, and he needs to get this kill off now. Whoa. Good patience by Aiden man to wait out the power geyser. Trying oh, nice job, yeah. no doubles up. That's, that is dead. Nice Excellent ledge gunning by a Brett man, showing that he is as proficient in ledge trapping as uh, what's their name? The one that also took the name Ashton. Thank you. I'm bad with names, but battle reset once again. That's three battle resets in a row here at four minutes and twelve seconds. Once again, this lag spike seven. This is lag spike number fifty-seven, hosted by hashtag Gaming Arena. Hundred fifty dollars a price pool. They are playing for the win. Yeah, absolutely. A bit man on tournament point here. If, one, if he takes this lock, this is game over for four, eight for an alley. Now they turn this up. Wilson's starting to make stuff happen. 86% now, 106. Now he's dominating this stock. Hang on. That's not that quite the death. Cover corner of the map. Apert Man's got to get a hold of himself. Back at Lennon. Now he's looking for some kind of read. Able to get up with the get up attack. Apert Man not out of the woods yet. Only at, uh, with an Audi, only at 25%. He's going to have to make something huge happen. But Rob's are known for making that kind of stuff happen. As we're seeing, he can get. There's, of course, that rock and hard boy starting to be barely missed. That was Aria not getting out of there before he, at, before he has the opportunity to become punished or attempting to fight at the 35. Still nothing come on the board uh -oh, yet. Uh -oh, There's a Nair. Here, Hang on a minute. Come, gets the tech. 65. Gets the Nair again. 75 up to. Oh. No up air, but whole shoot on platform. April Man is playing scared of now. There's the air dodge. That's oh. excellent land. 139. Back at ledge. Can be Jared just barely get a whiff due to that down to her box. He's gonna get up a second, but that's exactly what he needs to get back into center stage. Back is gonna land on shield, shooting back, just the boat ring back. He's gonna be down to wait here back here, but go me to the right. Oh, there's a side B. A front man's gonna take that 3 1. Grand finals reset against Anality. Showing he didn't even need that game that he was forced to forfeit. A dead man is your champion of lag spike number 57. A what very impressive a performance. Comeback.